Hello everyone and welcome to the Snapshot CFD Falling Object Tutorial. We're gonna simulate the falling of a solid box in a rectangular tank filled up to 60% with water. It's gonna be a 2D calculation. So first of all you need to create a study with the following command. The study name is falling object and a case, so case 1. Then go into your falling object directory. Then into your case one data and launch the shell script Neptune CFD to launch the graphical user interface. For this tutorial, we are going to create our mesh by clicking on generate Cartesian mesh. We can create a box. So in this case, we are going to set 50 cells in the X component with a length of 1 meter. In the Y axis there will be 100 cells with a length of 2 meters. And in the Z axis there will be 1 cell because this is a two-dimensional calculation. Once it's done you can switch the execution mode to mesh preprocessing only, then save your simulation and launch the calculation. Then open your terminal window, go into your residue directory, and you can display the listing to check your mesh properties. like the mesh coordinates and the number of cells. Then go back to your graphical user interface and switch back the execution mode from mesh preprocessing only to standard computation. Go in boundary zones. In the case we generate the mesh from Neptune CFD, we need to define our boundary zones with the geometric criteria. So add a first boundary zone with a selection criteria which is y greater than 1.99. So we just have the faces attached to the boundary zone because the cell size is 2 cm. Then add a second boundary zone with the following selection criteria. Then add the last one, which regroups all the other boundary zones. Then click on Calculation Features and select your layer and multiface with User Defined Option. On Main Fields, we just need to change the field label for water and for air. In this case, the flow is not compressible and the energy is not resolved. Then click on Turbulence Models. Here for both fields, there is no turbulence model used. You then need to add a body force on the Y component for the gravity. Then click on Closure Modeling and let the following properties with a large interface model for the drag. After that, you need to click on Volume Condition and check Initialization. Then click on All Cells and set the following properties for the water field for density and for viscosity and same thing for the air field then on the initialization tab set a pressure of one atmosphere then for the water field, initially there's no velocity. And for the fraction of water, you need to set the following expression. If y is lower than 1.2 meter, 
set a volume fraction of 1. Else, set a volume fraction of 0. Same thing for the air field. Initially, there's no velocity. And for the volumic fraction, if y is greater than 1.2, set the volumic fraction of 1. And else, set the volumic fraction of 0. Then click on boundary conditions and set the different nature. Then click on the first one. For the reference pressure, set one atmosphere. For the water field, for the fraction volumic, set an automatic value. And same thing for the air, set automatic value for the fraction. On time settings, set an adaptive time step with a time analysis of 10 seconds. You can then click on post processing and set an output every 20 time steps. On the writer tab, set an output every 25 milliseconds. You can then check on volume solution control if everything you need to plot or display is checked. Then save your simulation. Go back in your terminal window and go in the source directory. You need to copy from the installation directory all the sources. So there is NC user parameters and NC user variable porosity. These routines allow you to define a variable porosity in time and space. It will be used to take into account the presence of a solid box in the domain of calculation. Then go back in your graphical user interface and launch the calculation. You can then open Paraview to post-process the results. To display the solid, you can clip the domain with the scalar type using the porosity with the value of 0.5. Then add a second one to display the fluid domain. So, same thing as before, but uncheck Invert. You can change the first clip as solid color and the second one as volumetric fraction of water. And then add a time filter to display the time evolution. You can then see the evolution of the water field when the object is falling into the water. Thank you.